In this video, we're going to go into what it's like to smash your enemies into the ground as a destroyer in Lost Ark. Destroyers are an advanced class available to warriors that not only come with tons of damage but also have great stagger, weak point damage and a boss taunt. Being a warrior by nature gives a destroyer also good defense to tank any incoming damage with various shields. This may sound simple in theory, but learning how to play a destroyer to maximize their damage potential is actually not that easy. That's because all of their main skills are charging skills and frontal attacks, so correct timing and positioning is key. Lots of the destroyer's skills also have decent AoE, making it pretty easy to wipe larger mob groups when clearing all kinds of endgame content. So, if you're looking for a class that can do lots of damage with huge bursts whilst being in the middle of the action right in the face of any boss without having to worry too much about your HP, then the Destroyer might be for you. There are currently three other warrior classes in the game, Berserker, Paladin and Gunlancer. The Berserker and the Paladin have a distinct focus and playstyle in comparison to the Destroyer, whereas Gunlancers are probably the most similar. The Berserker for example focuses on dealing damage and the Paladin is your typical support. The Gunlancer and the Destroyer though are beefy attacks. That being said though, they both lack mobility but come with great damage, sustain and some disruption abilities. Like most classes, destroyers will build up their gravity gauge by using their skills, which are split up into blue and purple. Using blue skills will generate gravity cores which you want to consume with your purple skills. Also, when the gravity gauge is full, you can enter the gravity mode or often called smashing mode, which buffs you up with meaty shields as well as CC immunity. Keep in mind though that you can't actually use any skills in this mode and only strong auto attacks to squish down your enemies. In PvE, you'll spend most of your time using blue skills to generate enough gravity cores and waiting for those burst windows to cast your purple ones. Positioning is very important, as you always want to be right in front of the boss, as you'll have no problems in taking damage whilst dealing some great damage at the same time. In PvP, Destroyer maintains a pretty similar rotation. They use blue skills for gravity core generation and wait for those perfect opportunities to unleash the heavy hits with their purple ones. Destroyers also want to make use of their disruption skills to CC opponents, making it easier to access burst windows. In the case you get attacked by several enemies, simply enter your identity mode to grant massive shields whilst also slowing everybody around you. As a frontliner, destroyers want to close as much distance as possible, as they'll have almost no access to ranged enemies like sorceress for example. So, coordinate with your team and use your identity mode only in those heated scenarios. Let's take a look at the destroyer's core abilities. Perfect Swing Swinging the hammer and doing crazy damage is what a destroyer is all about. This is by far your hardest hitting skill that usually comes with a charge meter. It's absolutely brilliant for anything single target, has high stagger and does weak point damage on top. Seismic Hammer is an essential skill all destroyers use because of how easy and reliable it is to hit. You jump in the air and smash the ground which causes spikes to rise up from the ground. High stagger, decent weak point damage and a fast animation of this skill with no charge time makes it a great single target or AoE skill as well. Earth Eater makes you smash the hammer and take a big swing into the ground behind you which already deals small damage to anyone caught inside it. Wait though, as this skill can charge up to 2 times to deal greater stagger and weak point damage. Full Swing is a solid AoE skill as it will make your destroyer swing the hammer around him in circles, attacking and pushing back enemies in front of you. Endure Pain is your taunt to make you push back your enemies, but more importantly it grants you knockback immunity, which is the ideal opener to line up your hardest hitting skills like Perfect Swing. As with all Lost Ark classes, the destroyer has access to 2 awakening abilities. Terror Break. As stated in the name, this awakening slams the ground in front of you to crack up the earth and unfold a gravitational field that knocks down all enemies in that area. Enemies are then quickly launched into the air. After using this Terror Break, your gravity gauge will restore completely. Big Bang. All started with a Big Bang seems very fitting to this awakening skill as it makes your destroyer gather up all the power of gravity around him, ignoring collisions and all incoming damage by half. On top of that, it will grant you CC immunity and it lets you move freely, making you a literal ball of dense energy that finally explodes in a massive bang which will then deal insane amounts of damage. Most players prefer the Big Bang Awakening, as its damage is higher and the casting time is faster than Terror Break. Every class has access to engravings that will focus your playstyle in one particular direction. For destroyers, you will choose between Hammer of Rage and Gravity Training. If you want to see big numbers when swinging that destroyer's hammer, then the Hammer of Rage build is for you. It gives you more crit chance and damage depending on how many gravity cores you have whenever you use one of your heavy hitting purple skills. It's pretty key to know the boss's mechanics though, as this engraving needs you to time and position yourself perfectly. That's because you want to make sure you land all of your hardest hitting skills as most of them are frontal attacks with some charge time on top. When running this engraving you want to focus mainly on crit to increase your burst damage and swiftness second for reduced cooldowns. If you prefer to brutally smash your enemies though then the gravity training build is better for you. It fills up your identity gauge faster over time and increases your damage and crit during your identity mode. As soon as you're able to enter gravity mode, do it. Unlike the Hammer of Rage, you can use hard hitting purple skills with or without charge depending on your preference. Focus on specialization first as your main goal is to fill that gauge meter faster and do overall more damage with your purple skills. Secondly, focus on crit as a damage enhancer. That should be everything that you need to know to get your journey started on Lost Ark. 
Don't forget to head on over to our website at mobilitics.gg to find out all sorts of other content including class guides, boss breakdowns and plenty more.